So we took transit the whole way here. It cost about 600 yen, and it took about 50 minutes to get to Uno Terminal. We've got our tickets. As with many small towns in Japan, they only take cash. We couldn't pay by card, uh, but it was only 1,000, 1,100 yen, so it's pretty cheap overall. Uh, and that's round trip. Some boats leave from here, but not the one we're taking at 1.30. That one is actually just a little walk away. Um, and the difference is some of them are ferries and some of them are passenger boats. So I'm not sure which one we're getting on exactly, but the guy directed us where to go and he did speak English. So that was good. Just walking over there now. We just got off the ferry here to Naoshima Island. It was only 15 minutes and it cost 300 yen. So let's see if we can rent some bikes and go explore the island. That is one art done. So we have rented two bikes here at TVC, right outside of the port where the ferry arrives. Uh, I read online that this is the best place to do it. I got a regular bike and Chris got a sports bike. So we're out of the regular ones. And look, they have a cute map of the island so that they've got all the points and there should be parking indicated. Yep, the P is where you can park your bikes. It only costs 1,500 yen for both bikes for the day. Only takes an hour to do the whole island. Plus like stopping and taking photos, maybe an hour and a half, but it only takes an hour to bike the whole thing. Let's start it. I'm excited. All right, so we've stumbled onto one of the art houses here in Naoshima. They took some of the older houses and they've converted them into sort of art projects that you can walk around and check out. And this is the first one we found. It turns out you have to buy the ticket in Hanmira, which is where we're headed. So we're not quite there yet. I'm not sure what it costs. We're gonna check it out and decide if we wanna pay for it or not. So yeah, we're gonna keep going onwards.
we have crossed the island. We landed at Mio Nura Port, and this is the other side of the island, which is Han Miura Port. So you can actually rent a bike on that side and then drop it off on this side if you were catching another ferry from this side. We are just gonna drop it off at the same location. We're gonna go around the whole island. This area has a lot of cafes, something called the Art House Project, which we passed one of them already, but there's a bunch more in town here. Yeah, so it's just a cute little area of the island that we're just gonna walk around and check out. It's really pretty. We made it to our next destination here. Uh, we stopped to see the Tory Gate and it actually turns out that that is right near the Yellow Pumpkin. Uh, and there's a bike parking lot here so you can lock your bike up. You have to walk out to the pumpkin because it's on a pier. So we're gonna go look at it. Yeah, but look at the view. Those hills are pretty insane. Chris and I are pretty good cyclists. Mind you, we haven't biked since we started this trip, but that is a really intense incline and I can see why a lot of people get the electric bikes here. Whatever you do, it is worth it for this view. Back to where we started.
That's gonna do it today for Naoshima, the art island in uh, the Seto Inland Sea. It is really pretty, absolutely gorgeous. You can bike around the whole thing in like an hour. It took us um, closer to two because we stopped along the way. We got to see some cool art pieces. We didn't do any of the art museums, but there are a ton on this island. So if you like art, you should definitely check it out. The bikes only cost $15. There's tons of cafes along the way. Definitely worth checking out if you are in the area. Thank you.